that we're going to uh, where do we even begin okay i think we should start from um, apostle suleiman like we woke up this morning and there's pictures and receipts of a certain canadian um singer canadian based nigerian singer stephanie otobo so this particular lady had earlier accused pastor suleiman pastor suleiman is a nigerian pastor i think that has his headquarters in edo state if i'm not mistaken i think so too so she had accused him of some sexual allegations and all this was a few years ago where after a while she actually came out to debunk the story even went to his church to say that this story was not true and all that the pastor had come out to say that it was politicians and some fellow pastors that do not um like him and they want his downfall that's where all these things were coming from and i we thought that okay not like i won't say we believed but it happened and since the the accuser had come out to say it was all a lie there was nothing there was no other conversation anymore so yeah? everybody felt everybody just was, was dead dead was dead and buried only for this particular stephanie otobo to come back on specifically on twitter and put out a whole thread today she put out she barely wrote a little bit of a story and some pictures some very not so wonderful appealing to the eyes pictures <laughs> and you know she was really having a lot of allegations about how even the other time that she was coerced into doing things that she was doing how it was alleged that the pastor is involved in some jazz how he intimidates people paid off some people to intimidate her um how she was intimidated to recant her statement the other time and all that and all that and all that trust me it's not uh, it's not looking good for Apostle Suleiman she, at the she, moment. She, she also talked about how she came because she's uh, actually domiciled in Canada and she talked about how she came to Nigeria for a video shoot that had to do with uh, Timaya mm -hmm. or someone is it Timaya or Bono Boy? Timaya. Timaya. And that um, she was arrested and all sorts of things and she was intimidated and you know so you've already established the background to this like it started about five or six years ago mm -hmm. so it's not something that just happened now because a lot of reactions have trailed what she put out and again in saying that they are not so <laughs> pleasing to the eyes the pictures she put out I, I want to describe it we were going to play back one or two things but we said okay baby, let's just let's chill today yeah so the, one of the pictures two of the pictures were screen grabs of which yeah, they are alleged to be um, screen grabs of uh, uh, them chatting video chatting mm -hmm. and, and in one of those uh, screen grabs she has her you know <laughs> am i allowed to say boobies <laughs> yeah her bosoms. Her, all exposed <laughs> and all of that and his bosom and he is also <laughs> like you know kick back and they'll you know so if, if that is real that's one of the things she posted and there's another one that was kind of decent where they're just chatting then there's another one which is a <laughs> picture <laughs> of she alleges to be the man's private his like bosom. <laughs> that's not even, this is like his lower part like his his member you know whoever in, came up with that member you know <laughs> In, in his glory <laughs> standing in his glory at attention now you are being graphic no i'm not glory <laughs> attention you are being standing. graphic nah. yeah right so and she she, she talked about the the max like bet max or stuff that the guy has on his ties and his hands yeah. and that she yeah, wants them is... she wants them to like debunk it debunk everything and at this time around she's not holding back but when she rolled out on Twitter, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But I'm about to talk about a followership. 
it is alleged that when she wrote that she had about 300 followers oh really last time i checked at twitter handle she had fifteen thousand followers okay let me ask a question i know that i ask this question all the time but i still can't wrap my head around it did i see this tweets as well yes i did what would make me go and follow her when i know her twitter handle i can easily just search for it read what i want to read and get out i don't understand why people do those things like i honestly don't get it like to what end so she she has gained that in between that time she also tweets about a new song that she oh dropped. yeah and she's urging people to go listen to it that is a it's like a this album yeah or yeah where she's probably called out a pastor oh yeah she that. did she did i think i even listened so, to a bit of it so time. yeah i think it's on audio mark or something mm-hmm. and so y- you look at how she has um cashed ha- in on the just yeah cashed in is the word you know the phrase because she's timed everything perfectly like called out the pastor i'm not saying now that what she alleges did not happen or i'm not saying it happened i'm just saying that she has called out the pastor she has received she gets some kind of mad followership under like one or two hours she's like trending she's still trending on twitter oh, nigeria yeah. space if you go check uh, and then she drops links to her songs i'm sure the songs people will still go and listen to it like you said you had yeah. to listen to a few lines and all of that which is also like investigation and part of your work even if it's so what kind of song was it it was just a few seconds that i heard what genre of music is it is it the raining i'm on piano no, I'm, not even sure. I'm not even now that you're saying i'm not even sure i can even remember how it so, sounded like so you see what i'm saying now i'm not even sure so i can remember how it sounded if, like if, if it was something that grew on you you i'm not even listening to, to the whole song yet. yeah but was, the, the few lines you listen to still didn't impressive but it did i'm not sure so let's leave that but bottom line is that it's not the first time she is accusing him or the same pastor or it's not the first time that women are women are accusing accusing this same pastor pastor. and you know we've had been a lot of alleged crimes that's in the area of sexual impropriety that is alleged of, from by or committed yeah. by you know uh, there, there, the, there are a the few pastor. of them a person with the, by the name of Queen Esther had in 2017 um accused Pastor Suleiman or sorry he calls his apostle Suleiman of um some sexual relationship in 2013 claiming that she was an usher in a in a branch of his church when he lured her also in 2021 most recently uh um and if if meludike chioma grace had accused the general of a of sleeping with her twice mm. Mm. and that he gave her five hundred thousand. Mm. now saying that they met once in a hotel and another time in a rental hotel in lagos mm. yes <laughs> Okay, so a particular Pastor Mike Davis, I've also accused Pastor Apostle Suleiman of sleeping with his wife. Remember the story? Yes, yes. That in was a hotel big in the year. presence of their young daughter. Yeah, the pastor is supposed to be excommunicated, and and then the, remember that the pastor also came out to apologize. That's the, the other pastor who accused him mm-hmm. uh, because the wife kept on insisting that there was nothing there between was nothing, them yeah. and that uh, our own husband was just being funny and all of that. And um, of course, eventually the guy stood his ground for a couple of weeks, but then he apologized. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> again, he, he, apparently he had been threatened that they were going to sue him for defamation and everything. And it's obvious that he didn't have proof because if he did have it proof, is, yes, it he, would. He would be, uh, like um, standing on his uh, on his so-called truth you get but in this lady's case now this is stephanie otobo she claims she has proof and she started putting out uh pictures and screen grabs and screen and all grabs and you know you know the issue for me is that yeah he's actually not the very first pastor in nigeria that has been accused 
multiple times. He, I remember the um, Kosa pastor. I've also been accused a couple of times. This story is true or not. The first thing that always pops in my mind is that Nigeria is a very religious country. There are a thousand and one pastors. There are a few pastors that like them or hate them. There are a few pastors that have been there for years. There are a few of them I like. Some I don't like. But I don't want to mention names. But the truth is, whether you like them or not, there has not been this kind of um it's not it's not um it's not a, an allegation you hear a lot you know if you will say that okay is is the way girls regularly just come and accuse pastors no there are a lot of pastors you really honestly when you really think about it whether you like them whether you don't like them whether you like the doctrine whether you don't like the doctrine you actually don't hear this kind of things about them yeah so not once is it that some some people have been pastoring for 40 years 50. 50 years some maybe even 60 and you really never hear about about it men of god like um, the the overseer of the um deeper life bible church mm -hmm. um pastor, pastor Kumi. Kumi. you've never heard, I, you never heard. okay i have never, I've heard. never heard these things always go viral anyway you never hear of all those. I have never heard. You might not. You might not about, like their doctrine. Yeah. You never hear. I, I've about never it. heard such about Pastor Tunde Bakare. Yeah. I've never heard such about uh, the general version of the Redeem Church. Redeem Church. I you have, never hear anything like about Pastor Oyedepo. About yeah. I've you never understand? heard such about Pastor Oyedepo. Like them or hate them. <laughs> so why we're, is we're, it? We're, <laughs> we're not. We're not. Um, we're not lacking in pastors in Nigeria. We're not. And no, that's the truth. No, no we're not. So. Yeah. We, are playing. we can count 50 hundred so it's not a common thing you hear with pastors and then how come is some certain names that keep popping up every time over and over again over and over again you know there's something that my mom used to say that the first person calls you a goat the second person calls you a goat by the time the third person calls you a goat you need to check yourself are you sure you don't have some good like goat? tendencies <laughs> So, how come is this same you people that remember that it was the same pastor Suleiman that had issues with some allegations that um the journalist um Kemi Olu was it, I, no I no it wasn't it was no it wasn't high, it was another pastor yeah like they they they're literally just a few that go viral yeah that we hear about these things and it's not the first time especially when someone like this Stephanie Otobo it's not the first time she had accused him. They say there's no smoke without fire. Yeah. So what are we doing? If we are that much of a religious um, country and the people that we really seem to, because we don't seem to have a lot of faith in our government, nah. but a lot of people seem to have a lot of faith in their religion, in the pastors, in the imams, you know, and the spiritual leaders generally. And if it is the spiritual leaders that have all these allegations surrounding them, so what is left? And you know, you you start to look at um, again, what exactly should people do in a situation like this? You you find that there, there are scenarios where they have people who are going to defend them. They have um, oh yeah, their followers who are going to, and the same way they have people who are just going to laugh at them and enjoy the whole scenario. You get, but different reactions will always come. Some people have said that. How come she has kept this much uh, evidence in court for years? Yeah, you know the funny thing they, is they, that they, some I, people are even accusing her. I saw I saw something yeah. which I I will not say personally. This is my own personal opinion, though. I do not doubt her story, but the one thing that I felt a little disturbing, I won't say it is, I won't say it was. Um, she had her reasons, yeah, mm -hmm. but as at the time, maybe that that those videos or those screenshots that she put out were taken. At that point, they were probably cordial. Let's let me use that word. So, what was the plan for the screenshots? As at that point, that's that's my own. Yeah, not like I'm saying that she 
she doctored it. I don't. I personally good. actually think that's a good one. Actually, like you're you're talking to your boyfriend, yeah, in quotes, uh, your sugar daddy or your lover yeah, yeah. or whatever, and you guys are having a video chat. What's the essence of you doing this? If screen, it's not that there graphs. was. A, and if, if a funny screen grab intention of your, of your chat yeah a funny intention from day one because let's now, let's now be I know that i'm not saying that I, she's I like wrong. what you brought up though yeah I'm not I, saying I, I know wrong. that the other pictures the um one with the pastor's um private bosoms <laughs> that's not bosom <laughs> i don't know i just want what like part of your body is the bosom that's the no, so, yeah, is that? I don't like the way it's <laughs> No, it's not bosom. It's the guy's member. Like, okay, that was a member. Member. You know? So, oh, that, it's alleged that, member. That, that happens when they send, um, people send those kind of things to themselves back B- and forth. Back and forth, yeah. So, that, yeah, as a picture, you but, probably have it saved on your but phone. You're chatting with your, your lover. Either uh, legal or illegal or whatever. Or moral the, or immoral. What's the essence? What was the essence of at the that grab? point? That's my point. Like, did you feel that this would happen and you would need it in need the future? It. Exactly. Or did you take it like did maybe you, you were going to? You were going to use to blackmail, to blackmail him. Blackmail. You know because nah, that, that, that's to, it. That's that's, need that's need my to, own angle yeah, to it. Like look at this nobody's because, saying that she's. I, I honestly don't doubt her story. I don't, but what was her in- was really, I'm not saying if this matter is true, what the pastor did was right. Yeah. My own issue is that let's also look at it from the moral or would I say aspect, because at that point, whether whatever you people were doing was moral or not, you people were cordial. We saw pictures of her where she had opened her body up to the man. Yes. There is, there has to be some level of cordiality, and it didn't even look like they were in the same place because it was a video call. It was a video so, call. if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have. It's not like you guys were in the same room. And again, of course, that begs you know a lot of questions. Not just the question or mm-hmm. the question. It just starts to make you think like, okay, let's be honest. They might have been in some kind of relationship, but. Did she, what was her intention? Yeah. Did yeah. she at some point yeah. try to leverage on this? Yeah. I I, I, I think you that... Know, some people said, oh, I, I read comments and someone said, why did you have this? Another person said, oh, you should. It's called leverage. And I'm like... Why do you need why would leverage, I want to leverage over someone I claim to see, like? See, see. If, if, if I'm single and I'm dating someone and we're having this video chats and stuff, I'm not gonna do a screen grab. Exactly. I'm, Le- I'm, I'm not looking I don't for need, leverage. I actually don't need it. If if you if you need, except you're telling me that those those screenshots were for you to be reminiscing and be looking at yourselves and because yeah, but they're pictures. That they're you pictures. Guys take you understand? And taken. So I I don't get that's the it's the intention behind it. Yes, maybe if this story is true, was what the pastor did? Would you say was moral or immoral? Because now it's about morality is not if it is um i don't think it is um a crime do you understand it should just be a matter of morality let's yeah, be honest yeah, with ourselves yeah, yeah. it's it's if if, if, if it is know. true it's not immo- it's not um illegal let me put it that's the word it's not illegal they're both adults so that so my issue would all still go back to remain that did she actually agree to be involved with this pastor because she always wanted leverage against him or yeah. what what was it what was the end game what was the end game scenario? yes exactly you know so because That's again it. and the truth is at some point um the pastor has to respond yeah i think game. he has to and i think and he needs to respond fast a lot of times you would hear of how the pastors who have been alleged to have been in this situation they more than one cases where you find them go to the police you know they mm-hmm. I, I, I get I, I say I get it I, I don't want to be in a scandal but God forbid you're in a scandal you're not supposed to muzzle people mm-hmm. you're just supposed to put out the truth your own side of the story and, and let's get it and, and use and use the law 
there are, there are people who have been in that situation. Uh, Nasir El Rifai, governor of Kaduna, had someone who was calling him out on social media, and he feel the person was telling a lot of lies against them. And he sued the person. He to just court. The, guy. the guys they went to jail now. They went to court and, and the guy lost. You understand? And again, just like uh, the Kemiru lawyer that was mentioned, when she couldn't prove her stories against a certain pastor, <laughs> she backed she down. Was, yeah, she was in jail for about six months. She was in detention for about six months. You know, and again, so, but I don't like that muscle, that enforcement thing. I, I feel that you're supposed to more or less like even as a christian you're supposed to stay christianly and bring the person close like, and okay, preach to them what's happening and evangelize but if you have to go to court go to court not like you have uh, people fighting doing your dirty or, work for yeah, you yeah that's it doing your dirty work and all of that so but, on this but matter, definitely though, i i hope after all said and done mm-hmm. there are pictures out there that i have a feeling that at some point twitter are going to Twitter is going to pull down those pictures. Cause yeah. And but really, truly, really, you think? There's oh, a yeah. lot of stuff on Twitter. No, on daily no basis. Eh, but those stuff don't get reported. Okay, you do know that Twitter, at some point people... You people, have to report people, those things. Oh, so. so, yeah, maybe somebody, got, some people somewhere oh, will get, get up themselves and, say, and report. Posting, um, sexually explicit yeah, images yeah, yeah. and all of that. Yeah, you know? it, and again, the lady at some point, you know bosom like the lupo likes to mention someone said oh, why don't you just blot it out a bit and then but i get why she didn't blot it out because at some point she's been called a liar mm-hmm. so she's like really just ready to ready overcompensate to go like go all out and say look i don't care what you guys yeah. think this is me this, this, is, the, what this happened. is what happened and this is the truth yeah i i i, I get it i get it but i it doesn't look like this this story is going out of very anytime so soon. we're wait, waiting for yeah we're definitely waiting for suleiman's, suleiman's and she had said that she's going to also post a video call about one of their conversations so um we definitely will come back with um, this does not look like a story that is going away anytime mm-hmm. soon so we definitely you know woke up on a monday morning and this is the kind and, of and it's violence 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 oh, violence violence that we wake up to so the violence continues tomorrow we'll see we'll see definitely what comes of this i'm talking about pastors as i just came across this now the police have finally arraigned pastor noah abraham you know who that is nah. the pastor that demanded three hundred and ten thousand from his church members the equity police command have arrested the pastor and their claim that according let me read the charge against him that you pastor noah abraham on april 27th 2022 at omo kkt did by false pretense and intent to defraud present yourself <laughs> Soon. but how do you know he could be enoch elijah didn't die now enoch did not die they were transported to heaven I don't like it. Like I thought, police was not supposed to like meddle into so. <laughs> anyway, the police had said that by false pretense and intent to defraud, presented yourself to your congregation at Christ High Commission Ministry as capable of taking them to heaven before the rapture, upon payment of money ranging from three hundred thousand to three hundred ten thousand. The police had said the offense contravened section 416 of the criminal law of equity state 2012 he has pleaded not guilty to the charge and um his counsel has urged the court to grant him bail <laughs> and now the court had granted him bail of a hundred thousand with two shorties in like some and the court case has been adjourned to may 24. there's a new verb in the nigerian police with the advent of the new <laughs> inspector general of police and especially his new media team i must <laughs> say a big shout out to those guys oh i hope God. they use the same verb to push this case to a reasonable, a reasonable con- conclusion, conclusion yeah the only crime that i see at the moment although there's what they call obtaining by tricks 
But there, there's another crime that nobody's talking about. It's operating an illegal airline. Really? <laughs> really? Yes. Really? They <laughs> must add it to the allegations. <laughs> it's not the only crime. Let me correct myself. Oh my but it's, the man is operating an illegal airline. Please, where is the airline? Let's know. Oh, um, 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 uh, no, that's where the airport is. And now, so the, the airline. plane will be somewhere in the bush. Because the man says he's going to take people abroad. He has in rapture. No, abroad is across the sea, overseas. Uh, abroad of the heaven. No, this one is it's over still, over skies. It's still over. a broad just kind of movement. You know, you are you are a man of God. You read your Bible. And he says, I will come like a thief in the night. You are telling us now that it's, no it's, rapture does not apply to you. That your own you case are is going different. Or your own. So three hundred and ten thousand naira. If we to go to London, that is six hours flight. <laughs> it's not there. Okay? American ticket is more expensive, and everyone is supposed to be uh, further. Maybe it's a budget airline. Budget airline. Airline. Mister Pastor, whoever you are, the Nigerian police have your number <laughs> but i would like to plead with them to protect other people who will be scammed can you please create more awareness about this case and push yeah. it to the end so that people remember this was know. the same pastor that um i think um someone had tweeted i think her mom or something oh the allegation the, of that um, abandoning his wife somewhere where so, um someone was saying that her mom had told her to come back to nigeria yeah for my brother the pastor was going to pray for which no that the pastor wants to take all wants of them to take all of to them and that if he, she doesn't come back he's going to make her commit a crime and they will now and they will deport, deport her. her because the question is okay so at this point you know these are things that i question for someone that can go to heaven on his own it's the same issue that I have with people that claim that they have a lot of jazz. I'm not mentioning anybody's name. And they're in prison. And then they're in prison. Since your church members don't want to believe you, shouldn't you be on your way by yourself? Be going to your heaven now. I'm lost. Pastor, a lot of you people are scammers. There are real pastors out there. We mentioned a couple of them earlier when we were discussing the Otobo versus oh, yeah. Suleiman matter. Mm -hmm. And those are people that are tested and trusted. Then there are several pastors that we've not mentioned their name. There are even a lot of upcoming, but anybody that starts to charge people money for salvation, starts to charge people money to transport them. Meanwhile, the Bible says that it will come like a thief in the night. It didn't say that it will come and people will buy tickets and travel to heaven. Uh, it, 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 think it was, if it was actually me, like that, eh, I honestly all the rich that people will be that we know, they'll be in heaven now. I, I, I honestly think that a lot of people are way more gullible than we feel. And I, read, I will your, still, read your Bible. I will still keep saying it that as much as, yes, there are a lot of hungry people in Nigeria. There are a lot of people that have money that are very gullible. Because... No matter how bad the country is, no matter it's it's crazy everywhere. I was just reading it today. The inflation in the United States is has hit a new 15-year high. They've never seen such before in the UK. So it's like it's a global thing, yeah. So yes, there's issues. But a big a big shout out to Soto Ian. God bless you, bro. Always checking in on us on YouTube. Blessings on you, man. So basically, no matter how bad it is, there are a lot of very low income people that their whole business is not up to three hundred thousand. what does that mean you can successfully have a business you might not be rich but you won't be hungry if you have a business worth three hundred thousand. someone selling pepe someone selling meat that they're using that business to take care of families they probably their whole business on a daily basis it's probably not up to three hundred thousand. So you have three hundred thousand to go and dash somebody. The, you have a lot of money. And there are several businesses that you can do, uh, minus the ones that the people have mentioned. Yeah. Or included, that will turn over. Yeah. 10, 20, 30 percent. Percent. Some cases some, fifty percent. Some people selling retail drinks. People selling people selling thrift thrift clothing. Yeah. But it's thrift is to you know where it's called Okrika. 
bend down select. Do you know that they actually go and buy those bills? Yeah. You know, from um, um, there's this market after Oshodi, uh, Katankowa. Mm-hmm. People go there and buy those things in bulk, or go to Kotonu and buy, bring it in, and resell. And they make money. They make money off it. So and the like, profit is okay. Yeah, people, some people, people make jewelries. It doesn't have to be expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like some people's you know? whole business did not start with as we've heard people say that their whole business didn't start with fifty thousand. No. They didn't. So for you to have three hundred thousand, my point is for you to have three hundred thousand to want to go and give someone to take you to heaven, you have a lot of money. So you have problems. You have problems. That's it. So um Let's move to still order. talking about pastors, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, we are plenty of pastors just to do. Nigeria has a lot of pastors. Have so you we have to discuss it? and give them so, the quota. So, this serving overseer of Citadel Global Community Church, oh, okay, I didn't know that was the name of his church, has officially declared for the presidential race on the platform of the All Progressives Congress. We know that on Friday we had talked about him buying a form.